guys, I thought I'd vlog today. It's quite in the lab because it's 8am in the morning on a Sunday. But um, it's quite a good day since um, it's quiet and I've got quite a bit quite a bit of things to do, quite a bit of planning to do. Um, and as my experiments are running during the incubation time, I thought I might as well take the opportunity to tell you what I've been up to, how the project is going, and um, what the PhD life is like. What happens when you do a PhD in science particularly, I suppose, I don't know about the other areas, but it gets quite repetitive. Um, you have to do a certain type of experiments that are part of your project, um, unless, you know, it goes a different direction and you have to do something else. But for me, I'm still doing a certain part of my project. I can't even talk about a lot of my project because it's quite hush-hush. Um, but yeah, so in terms of the experiments and in terms of the progress, it's quite repetitive and you do this and that experiment and you see the results and you do a similar type of experiment using different kind of samples or a different kind of model. So speaking of experiments, I did something different because I was curious what I would see and I saw something interesting. And now that I'm trying to replicate it to um, make sure that it's, you know, accurate and also what I see is what I think I see rather than some random coincidence um, everything has stopped working yeah so that's obviously great the timing could not be any worse because this might change my PhD completely basically and now that everything stopped working I had to find out why and that took a lot of time and now I just chucked out everything and made everything fresh, made everything new, which obviously me not only did I waste a lot of time, but also a lot of samples. And I have to repeat everything again. So that's basically at least a month and a half, two months of work gone. The best thing I can do now is just, as I said, start fresh, repeat everything, um, and find out why things are not working and just try to move on. Um, so that I still can continue to progress in my PhD. Um, another quite important thing is that in a couple of months I will have my second TAC meeting, that is the Thesis Advisory Committee meeting. So I've got a, I've got a plan. I had a plan <laughs> where I wanted to show certain things um, for the meeting uh, so that I, I so that I would basically have certain amount of data and particular type of data to show. Um, yeah, but that's not gonna happen now, which is, again, a shame, because, you know, it's all only once a year, and you want to make the most out of this meetings. Besides things not working at all, <laughs> it's, it's quite, um, it's quite a stressful period for me at the moment. Um, there are a lot of important experiments, uh, that are ending, so a lot of, depending on what kind of model you use, uh, certain experiments can take up to a few months and um, for me that is going to start next week so my first time period to kind of stop and see what's happening is next week um, so yeah that that will that will be like hopefully no more than 12 hour long days all of next week quite intense um, yeah but at least it's not like that all the time, so that's good. Things can only go up from here, right? Fingers crossed. I'm not sure how helpful um, this particular vlog is going to be, but as you can see, um, depending on which stage you are in your PhD, even though I said that uh, on day-to-day -day basis it can be quite repetitive in the lab, um, actually, depending on the experience, it can be quite different as well. You know, you can't always control um, how things go, but the best thing to do is just to move on and hope for the best. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!